afternoon, Kay. We're here um, in the Stephen Young showroom, and I would like to welcome you to the Gift and Home Channel today. Tell me a little bit about the Stephen Young showroom and the core products that make the business happen here. Well, Stephen Young has been in the industry about 43 years. I think he's probably one of the oldest showrooms in the industry and one of the leading showrooms in the industry. And um, when he started out, he was one of the first people to um, introduce personal care and, and personal care products out of the drugstore into the gift industry as well as books from bookstores into the gift industry. And so out of those two categories, this showroom has developed. He's seen a lot of changes over those 40 years. What do you think has been the biggest change that he has seen occur? Well, I think when Stephen began, he was, because um, I used to visit the showroom years ago before I was, I worked for him for about 16 years, so I used to visit the showroom and it was um, minimal contemporary trend. And as personal care kind of infiltrated the industry, it softened up a little bit. And uh, so now we have three main categories. It's personal care is a third of the showroom. Uh, lifestyle and home accessories is a third. Tabletop. And a third of the business is in publishers, working with all the major publishers. Well, you've really, it sounds as if you've really listened to your customer and found ways to integrate new product to your customer's stores. Is that vital to what you do and what the independent retailer needs? Well, what we have created in this showroom is a one-stop shop for anybody from a hotel to a spa to a gift store to a lifestyle store. So we have everything that they could possibly need to some extent to open up a business and um, yeah it's constantly evolving it's you know the gift industry is not um, a stagnant yeah it's it's not a stagnant industry you you every six months customers come in here and the first thing out of their mouth is what's new and what's happening what's new and what's happening well, and Stephen advised you to do something not too long ago. What did he do for you? You and I were just oh, talking about Oh, it. it was interesting. Well, the, the Maison show in Paris was going on, and Stephen sent me to Paris for a couple of weeks to the show. And before I left, because we do not work with companies directly from Europe, we work with their distributors in the U.S., and before we left, I said, you know, what exactly is it that you want me to accomplish or do there? And his words were, I just want you to absorb as much as possible and bring that back. And so that was actually one of my first lessons. And just the more you expose yourself to product and people and not necessarily trends, even though it's a big part of our industry, more so... Los Angeles is very trend driven, but I don't think the rest of the U.S. is as trend driven. Um, allows you to be that expert that a store comes in here to speak with, you know, and you're able to help them. I mean, it's really all about helping them grow their business. Well, and you can translate something that occurred that's new and different to the retailers mm -hmm. that way. And, and in a sense, you expose them to new ideas and new ways to look at their mm -hmm. business as well. Well, what happens is that store owners tend to, I mean, they'll go to a couple of the shows, but they really stay in a pretty um, insulated environment within their own store. And you're able to kind of, I mean, our reps have been with us a long time. They have longstanding relationships with stores. And they really become consultants in in a sense, to that person's business. Well, that's an interesting term of phrase that you just used, the consultant to the retailer. It's important to have that consulting relationship? Comple I think so. I mean, it's where I've based a lot of, when I work or open up a hotel, I mean, it's become kind of, we become the consultant's consultant because we're able to, um, I mean, we're very aware of what products sell in all three of those categories um, because our showroom is so strong so if it's selling here it's a, it's a good statement. Well and it's also a sales building um, and a way to help retailers increase their volume and their growth within themselves it also is helping this exposure and consulting expertise. Well when you when you become involved with your store owners on that level you really are participating in their business and there's a certain sincerity that is translated in that when you're working with them. Absolutely yeah. that participation is really unique to what you're doing and I'm 
sure that the retailers truly appreciate uh -huh. it. Yeah. I'd like to thank you today, Kay, for your time with thank us you. here at the Gift thank at Home you. Channel. You've given us some great tips, and we truly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you.